Sex. What a strange concept when you break it down to the image of a dude jabbing his man stick into a woman's lady hole. Wow. <laughs> but that's only one kind of sex because straight people aren't the only ones to get down. There's sex between two women, there's sex between two men, there's sex between individuals who they themselves fall somewhere in between. And why limit the bedroom to two? There are threesomes and orgies and the all too famous party of one. <laughs> because what the hell is a reverse cowgirl? <laughs> sex is so confusing and sometimes, sometimes I think sex is disgusting. Like we shouldn't be limited to that form of reproduction if someone be viewed as some sleazy act of pleasure. But other times, I realize sex is more than that. You can create life given you don't take a pill or wear a condom. You can strengthen or reinforce a bond between a lover or let that strange at the bar in on your biggest secret. And sex can be the greatest thing in the world if it's handled with care. If you treat the other person's body like a museum and explore, how try not to break anything. And if you step on the premises without permission, you're worse than any jewel thief. It's a break-in that will take far too long to repair. Sometimes I wish I was asexual or that sex didn't exist at all, and I'm pretty sure life would be a whole lot easier. We wouldn't be fixed on such a specific definition of beauty. People wouldn't push themselves to pleasure a partner when they themselves aren't happy. Women wouldn't have to sell their bodies as a means of putting food on the table. Those who haven't had sex wouldn't be shamed and neither would those who have. And whether or not she was asking for it wouldn't even be an argument. But I've got to stop thinking like that because sex doesn't have to be the enemy. It can be a wonderful thing full of gentle embrace and hugs and kisses and love, so much love. Yeah.